now the program now the function module which we are going to see is ddif field info get so what exactly is this function module okay if i click on the execution button of this function module this particular function module is used to return the structure of any table okay it means for example take any one info object okay i am going to a table slash o rsd1 okay so what happens no no okay i will because it's a bw session now we will learn in our bw point of view only okay i am going to sc11 for example if you take any ds4 not advanced ds4 i am talking about normal ds4 if you take any ds4 all the ds4 information will be stored in your which table rsd ods4 so this was the ds4 master table where it contains all the active and inactive versions of ds4s okay but this table will give only the technical name of the ds4 only okay not the definition of the ds4 for example uh, gn1 emd this was one of the ds4 in my system okay if i go to slash for rs7 slash n rs7 and searching for this ds4 you see this was the ds4 if i double click on it i can see the structure of this ds4 okay it has some key fields it has some data fields also and now i want to you know print the structure of this ds4 on my on my output screen so how can i do it so i need one database table where exactly it where it exactly it is storing the ds4 structure so rsd ods4 iobj this was the table where system is storing the information of the ds4 so i am giving active version of this one if you go here you see this is the info ods sorry uh, ds4 name and these are the fields that are if i used in the ds4 these two are key fields and these three are the data characteristic fields okay so sap is giving a table where it stores the you know ds4 information now like this uh, there is no table for the uh, no table for the ads4 okay so if i want yeah to my knowledge uh, there is no table but i need to check whether it is there or not uh, but if for ads4 we don't have any table like this rsd uh, iobj star let's see for ads4 you see for cube info objects there is a table for uh, info object also there is a table and for ods also there is a table okay um, but there is no table for the ads4 so in what i will do in in such cases what i what i will do is i will use this function module to get that uh, you know ads4 structure so how i am going to do that so let's go to this uh, studio and try to see one of the ads4 so this sr underscore acl s1 is a ads4 of type you know standard table standard ads4 now whenever an ads4 or a ds4 ads4 whatever it is whenever we create one ds ads4 it will create a set of tables in the back end so you see it is a standard ads4 it created three tables inbound table active table change log table now i will take the active table name i will take the active table name and i will provide this active table name to this table information so if i click on execute button it returns all the fields from this table you see this is the table name these are the fields i am using in this table simply what exactly what exactly it is doing whenever i pass a table as a input to this function module it will return the structure of this table you see i have around nine fields are there and here also it is returning nine entries these are the ads for technical name these are the fields from the structure okay and data type length so everything you can find it here okay uh, including text is are not there i think yeah even including text information also it is there because you see technical name data type length text you whatever you find here all such information is available in this particular output table so i need to pass a table name as a input to this function module it will return the uh, table structure in a internal table format okay d5 underscore tab okay 
So now, how to consume this particular function module in our program in order to you know get this information and print on the output screen. So now let's see quickly this one. Go to pattern and try to provide this function module name. Okay, so when you are uh, when you are executing this like this, now whichever fields automatically uncommented, these are nothing but mandatory mandatory input parameters. Okay, on the export parameters tab, it is showing it was as a you know uncommented column. It means it is mandatory for you to provide the table name here. So what was the table name for me here? So this was my table name. I hard coded my table name at this point of time. So all the commented ones are nothing but optional. It's up to you whether you use it or not. So as I told you, exceptions, always remember to enable it. Or else, you know, you cannot handle the exceptions uh, in the program. Now, so apart from that, now from this, why, why I'm calling this function module, I want to get to know the structure of the function, you know, ADS4. So the ADS4 structure was coming under this D5 underscore tab, you know, output parameter. So where is this device? This was the table parameter. Now enable these two. Okay. So now click on yeah, that's it. So because this D5 tab is defined under table section, so you must enable this. So since it is giving some output, you must capture the output also. Let me see inline declaration works here or not. D5 underscore tab. And it must work, uh, but uh, I don't know why it is not working. Somehow, okay, I don't know why, but it, it must work actually. So now I am defining, I am getting the output of these tables into one internal table. So I need to define this internal table first. So I am going to data section. I am defining LT underscore um, this internal table type standard table of So now what was the structure of this one? To get the structure of this output, I need to go to definition of my, you know, function module, go to display, go to table section. You see this device tab was defined with this particular device. As I told you, like uh, whatever it is outputting while defining the variable, local variable to receive the output, you must define it with the same data type. It is defined on the function module. So now pretty printer. Click on check button. Okay, so you defined because it is of type tables. You are defining it is also type standard table of D5. Now, if you wish to, you know, um, go through the table and uh, write the output on the output screen, you need one work area. So D5 underscore tab like line of LT underscore D5 tab. What exactly this like line of means? Like line of means it is a line type, nothing but a work area. Okay, I can define as a type also, but uh, you know if you go to this device, device is a structure. Yeah, then it is fine. Either you can define it as a type. You know you can define it as like you know type device, or simply like line of this the internal table. It means nothing but like line of is a word which is used to define the work area kind. Okay, either one you can use. No. So when if this function module was executed successfully, then the size of RC must be not equal. You know, it's equal to zero. It means it comes to the else case. In the else case, I need to loop to my internal table into ls. Okay, and write. So what I need to write, I want to know the info object name, which means from here, uh, field name I want to know. So field name. Remember, so when, when I'm executing this particular function module, I will show you one more time here, one important point. So I am passing my table name as an input. Okay, when I'm executing, I'm getting the information of all the fields in the D5 table. If you see, this is the structure, this is a table format, and these are the columns. 
tree table name, field name, column. Now I am planning to, you know, I am trying to output the file field name information on my output screen. So how to know what is, uh, what are the technical names of this uh, table, column names of this table. So if I go to the definition on the table section on the device, this, out, this particular table parameter was defined with device type. If I double click on it, then I can get to know the structure of the output. So this structure contains around 49 columns and tab name, field name, language, all, all these are the column names. So I am going to now print this field name information on the output screen. That's why I am giving work area hyphen field name. So in order to print a line by line, I need to give this a new line character. Check button, activate, execute. You see, I got all the info object names are, you know, uh, from the ADS4. Okay, so this is how to, you know, get the information of an ADS4 structure. So the output of this particular program is how to consume a, fun a function module which returns tables also. Okay. So the commented fields here are like, you know, uh, optional fields. If it is okay to un uh, to leave it like this, or uh, at the end of, once you found that your function module is ex working as expected, you can delete them also from the program. No need to keep them as it is. You know, I, you can delete it so that your program will be you know, a little bit nicer. Execute, your program will work as it is. Okay, so if I put a breakpoint and click on execute button, Again, same problem. Mm. I'm pressing F6 button to see how it is working. So F6 button, now you see LTD5 tab, return nine entries. So I'm pressing, since this was successful, it is going to else condition. So on the loop, I'm looping to the nine entries and giving to work area, and I'm printing this field name information if you want to know the you know data type length and everything you can get from this also okay so the each uh, where is the data type information of this table and remember when you if you see this table you see when you click on this cursor uh, it you know you may not fill it up properly so click on this symbol okay click on this grid display symbol if you click on it this table will be defined you know it will be displayed in a grid display so grid, grid display will be nicer formatting you know to do some analysis so this was the field name and uh, data type you can find here output in you know, length and all you can find there and if you want to display the description of the field also you can find in one of the column here field text okay so like this, you can consume a function module with uh, which returns tables also and like this. So I'm stopping recording.